Hello guys, welcome back to another edition of the Black Star Series, live here on Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. So guys, today is the 31st of December, the last day of the year, 365 days complete. And we thank God for bringing us this far. On the Black Star Series, we talk about the Black Star's preparation towards the AFCON 2023 that will be hosted in Ivory Coast between the periods of 13th of January to the 11th of February. And in today's video, I have latest updates concerning the Black Stars. The Ghana Football Association this morning has released a lot of information concerning the Black Stars final squad and also the pre-AFCON friendlies we are going to play. I have all the details here we are going to talk about it. And also, watch this video to the end. I have a thank you message for you. Yes, a thank you message for you. So please watch this video till the end because today is the last day of the year shout outs to everyone watching if you are watching this video shout outs to you thank you for watching this video and thank you for supporting sports corner g so guys quickly let's jump into it and talk about black stars first now the gfa has released a new information about the black stars final squad now i have been complaining a lot that other countries have released their final squad for the afghan except the black stars and gfa brought a new info today that on the first of january which is tomorrow monday on the first of january coach chris Hilton will be meeting the press to release the final squad for the afro now he'll be meeting the press at the alisa hotel exactly 11 a.m he'll be meeting the press and also the media at the alisa hotel exactly 11 a.m to release the final squad for the afro and i'm sure you'll be asked you know some few questions about the squad and also the preparation of the black stars towards the afghan so guys don't worry tomorrow latest by 11 13 we know the players that will be going to the afghan my only take on this or my only two cents on this is that do not include edmond Addo to the squad simple as abcd i don't have anything more to say whoever makes the squad i'm fine except edmond Addo. i don't hate the player it's not like i dislike the player i just want players who are playing regularly for the club side to go to the afghan players who are on top form for their club side who are part of the 55 provisional man squad to make the squad no players who are redundant in their club side players who don't play for their club side to be sent to the uh, to the afghan meanwhile at the afghan we are going to play a sprint not a marathon it's not a marathon it's a sprint yes shower yes shower obviously it's very important that coach Pusuti selects the right players for the afghan i know he has submitted the final squad but we are yet to know it's yet to be made public so guys this is the latest update concerning the black stars preparation towards the afghan the final squad will be released tomorrow monday 1st of january at the least will talk 11 a.m coach Pusuti will be talking to the press and also the media and after that we we'll also bring our own reaction about the squad live here on Sports Corner GH. Also, the second update concerning the Black Stars would have to do with the pre afghan friendly matches we are going to play. Now, we already know that Nanimbia have already arrived here in Ghana. They are going to come in the Western region. And per what I what I hear, Ghana is going to host Nanimbia in a pre afghan tournament or pre afghan friendly match. And that match will be played at the Baba Yara Sports Stadium on monday 8th of january on monday 8th of january the time for that match is 8 p.m the time for that match is 8 p.m so please take note of this ghana versus nanindia a pre afghan friendly will be played at kumasi baba yarasko stadium on the 8th of january which is also a monday and also the time for this match is 8 p.m 8 p.m and I'm sure that this friendly is going to help the Black Stars. It will show Coach is using which players are ready for the first level or not. Because after date, we don't know Black Star first level though. We know players who are going to play, yes. But we don't know the actual first level. If I ask you, who is our first choice goalkeeper? I'm, I'm sure you'll be scratching your head because currently we don't even know. We don't know if it's Richard Ofori or we don't know if it's Lawrence Antizic. We don't even know the Black Stars first level. At least the game against Nanibia is going to give us a clear idea of how the close resulting wants to approach the Afghan and the kind of players is going to start with when we go to the Afghan. So I believe that this is very important. This is better than playing Botswana because Nanimbia are also in the Afghan. We are playing against a team who are also playing in the Afghan. So I think this is very positive friendly for the Black Stars to also know 
who and who would be fit enough to start games for the Black Stars. So guys, this is the latest update concerning the Black Stars. The friendly match will be at Baba Yara Sports Stadium. It's January 8 p.m. So please take note of this so that you don't forget. And also, the final squad will be named tomorrow, Monday, 1st January, at the Lee South Hotel, 11 a.m. by Coach Chris Hutton. He will be meeting the press and be naming the final squad for the AFCON. So guys, this is the latest update concerning the Black Stars. So let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comment section. Now, um, finally, I want to give you my thank you message. Um, this year has been a very good year of growth for me personally because um you have supported me on sports corner gh we started this year this channel with sixteen thousand subscribers and currently i think we have around forty eight thousand. and this is a huge growth huge huge growth for me personally because it has not been easy there are times when i wasn't feeling well but i still come out to shoot video and you guys still support and i felt like yeah it was worth it it was very very worth it so i want to use this opportunity to thank each and every person watching this video, each and every person who likes our video on Sports Corner GH, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much because you see, if you go to YouTube, there are a lot of sports channel that talk about Black Star, that talk about other sports, Chelsea, whatever it is. But people still come here to watch the one on Sports Corner GH. That shows that you support the channel and we are a family. That is why I also try my possible best to do the giveaways, to give something back to those who watch. And I really appreciate every single thing you have done for us on this channel. That's Sports Corner GH. We are growing and I'm really excited that you are part of the family, you are part of the journey. And I want to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you to you. Today is the last day of the year. And I want to say a very big thank you to you for how influential you have been in, the, in, in, in our lives. In me, in my life, especially on Sports Corner GH, you have been a major role. You, yeah, you watching have been a major role in, 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 in playing part of how Sports Corner has been right now. Sports Corner is everywhere. Everybody is talking about Sports Corner and it's because of you. So please, I'm really appreciative of this. Next year, we'll go harder. Next year, we'll be more consistent. Next year, we'll bring you more interesting football content because we have more ideas to entertain you. Football is not only about statistics and tactics and all those things football also comes with their entertainment and we will make sure to bring you more footballing content to entertain you to give you more information to educate you because that is what is important but i just from the deepest part of my heart i just want to say a very big thank you to you for supporting sports corner gh i really appreciate it thank you very much i love you all for supporting sports corner gh and lastly i want to add this today today is the last day of the year and i know first first most of you will be going out. As I always say, if you go out, protect yourself. Your safety is in your own hands. Don't go and leave your drag about and someone will come and poison you. Deep are doing bad things. You see people walking normal, but they are serial killers. So people are doing bad things in town. So wherever you are, if you are going to enjoy the new year, please make sure you protect yourself. Your drink, your food, yourself is very important. People are, you know, ambushing people taking their phones and all those things please protect yourself it's very very important today is 31st i'll make sure to pray for every single one of you so that the new year coming 2024 will be very prosperous for you all thanks for joining me thanks for joining me my name is adam i really appreciate everything you have done for me this year 2023 i pray that god richly bless you god will god will protect you god will you find favor in god's in god's uh, you know own time and god's own way god's rule will always be with you and thank you very much for supporting Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam and as always, Charlie, Charlie, as always, we go vibe, we go vibe. Anytime you see me for time, Charlie, just holla at me. We go vibe, yeah? Charlie, thanks for supporting Sports Corner GH. I really, really appreciate it. My name is Adam, Charlie, peace out.